I did not collude with Russia, nor do I know of anyone else in the campaign who did so. I had no improper contacts. I have not relied on Russian funds for my businesses. And I have been fully transparent in providing all requested information. So that was Jared Kushner speaking after his two-hour-long closed-door meeting with the Senate Intel Committee, reiterating that he did not collude with Russia. Joining me now to discuss is Washington Times columnist and an advisor for the National Diversity Coalition for Trump, Madison Jesiato, and Democratic strategist Kevin Walling. Thanks to both of you for joining us. Madison, what do you think? I think the Democrats will be satisfied with that statement. The whole Russia thing is over. They're, they're going to be perfectly happy and we can move on, no? <laughs> right. We, we, we can only wish and dream. But at this point, I mean, it's just it's so disappointing. And it's become, I think, honestly, obnoxious. It seems like Democrats are just trying to discredit Trump's presidency by pretending that the only reason he's there is because Russia put him there, instead of recognizing that he out-campaigned Hillary Clinton in important battleground states. He won the election fair and square, and that's some, something that Jared Kushner actually mentioned today in his statement outside of the White House. Kevin, what's amazing to me is the only evidence of colluding with Russia that I've seen was when the Russians gave the Clintons half a million dollars for a speech by Bill. Half of that is rightfully Hillary Clinton's. She got $250,000, and Putin called them directly to say thank you afterwards. I mean, that's the pay part of the pay for play. It, it's amazing <laughs> to me that we're then talking about what you know what may have happened with the trumps that doesn't even come close to that sure melissa i think we need to get to the bottom of this i think uh, today was the first step with jared kushner uh, talking to senate intel committee staff uh, he goes before the house intelligence committee uh, tomorrow uh, his state w uh, was pretty loyally uh, in terms of uh, putting uh, some of the details out there but again we need to have the process play out uh, what's concerning to me is the fact that uh, over 100 meetings with foreign nationals uh, were omitted on his SF-86 form. This is a form that every national security uh, personnel uh, have to fill out. Uh, mm -hmm. And again, it seems like every single day he's updating with a new meeting, with a new call. Uh, and that's seriously concerning, not just to okay. me, but to the majority of Americans out there. So, Madison, the actual details of what Kevin was talking about there is the idea that he turned in his form, or his assistant did, before they filled out any of the foreign meetings at all. They hadn't done that portion of the form at all. So he left off every single meeting with every single foreign individual from 22 different countries. And somehow that's being construed as he's adding a new person every day and he's trying to cover up every single meeting he had with everybody from 22 countries? I don't know. I'm having a tough time getting there. I think the important differentiation here that's been left off so often by so many people in the media is that meeting someone and having a meeting with someone are two very different things. As I walked down the hallway to sit down here today, I met quite a few people, but I did not have meetings with them. And so I think it's very easy when you're someone like Jared Kushner on the campaign trail with someone like Donald J. Trump to meet lots of people and let things like that slip your mind because you're yeah. not actually having a meeting with them. You're at an event with many other people. Sometimes you don't even remember who these people are that you meet because it's so brief. Kevin, what about taking a meeting versus cashing a check for half a million dollars and then taking a phone call from President Putin? Sure. I mean, we can talk about the Clintons, but unfortunately, as a Democratic strategist, she's not president. We've got to focus on uh, this president and this administration. Again, it wasn't just a casual handshake and meet and greet. It was phone conversations so while do, Barack Obama was still these president. Phone conversations? Like, play this we know, out we know that one with Ambassador Kislyak, uh, where Jared Kushner uh, was seeking to set up a private communique uh, at the Russian embassy. We have transcripts of that conversation, again, while President Obama was still in office to talk about Russian sanctions. That's a very troubling thing, not just for Democrats, but for Republicans that want to get to the bottom of this so as this well. So this is like whenever we hear about the back channel conversations that are going on either between President Obama and President Putin or President Obama and the Iranians when they're trying to make contact to talk about the deal that they were making on ending the Iranian sanctions, that sort of sure, thing? But but, Melissa, that the key thing, as you said, is President Obama. President Obama was president right. at that time in office having those conversations as the head of our state. So this was the after problem he was having elected. Two months before the inauguration, Jared Kushner is having these uh, conversations that trouble national security officials, which is one of the reasons why that information was put out there, uh, because of those serious concerns of the nature yeah. uh, of these conversations with the Russian ambassador. Again, we just need to get to the bottom of this and let this process play yeah, out. I think what the American people are thinking is there is no bottom. There's just going to be dig, 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 
And there, there was a bottom to Watergate, and we let that process play right. out over it's two almost years. Exactly and we need like to Watergate. investigate this. This is almost I exactly the same thing. Let's leave on that note. Thanks, guys. Appreciate your time.